How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be a complete animated series unboxing and this is going to feature uh, two shows, uh, one of which I grew up with uh, and there's one that came out uh, years later and the original show uh, came out back in 1992 and it was amazing, grew up with it all the time, I believe it was uh, or watched it all the time. I believe it was a Saturday morning cartoon, if I remember correctly, and that is X-Men. So with that, let's go ahead and get started, because uh, I finally completed uh, collecting it all. <laughs> all right. So first up, we have Volume 1. So this was part of a big uh, Marvel DVD uh, comic book collection. Well, that's what this is. Uh, but it was... Uh, real big re-release and I want to say this was on Amazon and I don't think this was sold in stores um, so I believe you had to order it online only I think so this is volume one featuring Knight of the Sentinels and cover is nice and shiny and embossed so this was the one that I was missing with the slip cover so I'd already gotten a couple volumes of it uh, most of them were second hand. There was only like, I think, two that we got new. Alright. But they didn't have uh, their slip covers. I think like only, I think about three of them didn't have them. And luckily I managed to find them all. And it looks really nice. Uh, you know, classic X-Men uh, animated show from the 90s. Right there on DVD. Now I want to say that there were other original DVDs of it but I don't remember. I don't remember seeing anything about that. I know there's one about Wolverine but I think that's something else. So here is the uh, episodes. Two disc. And you get a lot of that. There you see Days of Future Past. Yes they did do that. Um, Night of the Sentinels is two parts. And we'll get to some, uh, there you see Apocalypse, he's in there, Juggernaut, a whole bunch of different characters. And then here are the specs. So you get French and Spanish uh, language tracks, uh, French and Spanish uh, subtitles, and of course you have uh, English as the main track, full screen. And there you see the Sentinels. The classic animated look. The, these guys are intimidating, especially with the way they talked. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah, they're giant, really huge. Like friggin' just walking down the street and you're like, wait, what the heck is that? <laughs> and it starts talking. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so here is volume one. Now all the discs uh, look like this, where they're just plain gray and it just tells you the volume. Let it clear up. So there's volume one and volume two so yeah nice and simple so there is volume one <clears throat> and yeah I just remember growing up with this when it came out and here's volume two featuring the Phoenix Saga very big part also in the comics as well and so just so you guys are aware I actually saw this on Amazon I think it's still on there going for like 50 I think to $70 so be very aware if you do try and get these because uh, I think they were um, I don't know if they're out of print because there's some of them you could still get uh, maybe certain volumes are but I just know that this one in particular it was going for really high alright so here's volume 2 so I want to say that this is the first time that it's been released uh, in its entirety uh, which is really cool uh, and you know just to be able to have it out there in general for people to see is just awesome so there you see the Phoenix Saga parts 1 through 5 and you see Jean as the Phoenix is taken over and these just have little tabs don't think all of them do just certain volumes alright there's volume 2, disc 1, and disc 2. So yeah, really cool. Yeah, I remember uh, just 
seeing this in the morning. I believe it was part of the Fox Kids lineup. I think that's where I mostly remember or remember that remember it <laughs> from and uh, just seeing this all the time it was just incredible so you have the x-men you know storm uh gene gray uh, cyclops wolverine beast professor x uh you see nightcrawler eventually you know we got apocalypse magneto uh rogue of course uh you have just you know uh, magneto's uh what is it the brotherhood and all sorts of different characters and then you have the dark phoenix saga parts one through four it's another big one <clears throat> uh, of course you got the juggernaut and uh you know just eventually a whole list of different characters just show up and that really made it fun you know the more it went on uh, you know, more characters show, you know, appeared, and it was just really cool just to see. And I want to remember, or excuse me, I want to say that uh, the only thing of X Men that I ever had, I think at the time, was some comics, because we got like this whole box of just random comics at like a uh, oh, what was it? I think it's just a garage sale, but never anything animated until this came out. So. All right, and then here is volume four. Okay, so volume three has the uh, featuring the Dark Phoenix, and then volume four has uh, Beyond Good and Evil. And this one I had to order through Half Price Books, and you know didn't know if it had a uh, slip cover on it or not. And luckily it did, and it is really cool. Here you see Wolverine and Sabretooth, another big character. There you see, uh, I believe that's Mr. Sinister, Mystique, Gambit. He's awesome with the exploding cards. And Mystique is cool, you know, changing forms and things like that. You know. And there it is, Beyond Good and Evil, Sanctuary, Proteus, different parts. And the voice acting in here is really good. Uh, Wolverine has a very distinct voice <laughs> in here. You know, uh, I think this voice gets referenced a lot because it's so iconic. And, uh, you know, this show in general is just very well done. <clears throat> and I believe his voice is featured in the, um, what is it, Marvel Super Heroes video game? Yeah, because we used to play that all the time. And he had the same voice I think that was in here, so that was really cool. I think Cyclops was the same too. All right, so there's Volume Four, and then last up, Volume Five, featuring Old Soldiers, starring Captain America. Yes, he does appear in here. There you see Omega Red. Uh, there is, I believe that's Cable, I think. Uh, there's Professor X. Oh, I can't remember this guy's name. Ah, it's gonna bother me now. <laughs> there's a Red Skull. Another really awesome cover. Got the nice blue. And then here is the back. So each volume will give you, uh, like different story details and things like that. So, uh, language and subtitles is the same on each one. Oh, excuse me. So you have the uh, the Phalanx Covenant. I believe that's how you say it. That's also a comic too. I think I remember reading uh, parts of that. Uh, Stormfront parts one and two, and then yeah, seventy six episodes total. So yeah, you got quite a bit. Because uh, I remember back in that time, it was uh, nineteen ninety two. I think it's the official year it started. And there were a bunch of different shows that went on for quite a while. They had a lot of episodes to them. And it was really cool because you got a lot of, you know, nice content. And the music, very, very good. The opening theme of this, just the video, the footage you see. And uh, uh, the music just in general is really good. You know, no words, just all music. But it works really well. Really got you pumped up. You know, to watch X-Men. Like, X-Men's on. Hurry up. <laughs> all right. So here is all five volumes 
of the 90s, uh, X-Men, uh, 1992. Yeah, just incredible show. And I have rewatched it all and continue to rewatch it because <laughs> it is just that good. It's just really fun. You know, there are some really, you know, goofy parts to it and stuff like that, but that's just part of the charm. You know, music's great, action's good, and the stories are very uh, deep and dark. Also, you have some really uh, dark themes in here, uh, some of them, but then you have, you know, your lighter episodes and things like that. But really good classic Marvel show. And then last up is one that came out years later. And I, I remember hearing about this one. And I think I saw a little bit of it. <clears throat> but I don't remember if I watched it all. But I did eventually once I uh, picked it up. And that is the complete series of Wolverine and the X-Men. It is really nice picture. All 26 episodes on three discs. So yeah, this um, came out uh, quite a while ago as well. But uh, yeah, I remember hearing about it, but I don't remember ever finishing it until I picked this up. Um, now there are two versions. You can get uh, this one, uh, the complete series DVD. There's also a complete uh, series on uh, Blu-ray as well. And you can also get it in parts. Now I wanna say it takes, <sighs> I think maybe is it four or five parts I think maybe three total uh, I think I think it's about six maybe five or six but uh yeah so here's the uh, story details here and there you see uh, Wolverine there's Storm and Shadow Cat Kitty Pride and yes there's Gambit uh, Professor S, there's Magneto, and yes, there is the Hulk. <laughs> he's in, he's in there as well. So yeah, all right. So you get uh, all 26 episodes, uh, 29 audio commentaries with show creators. That was really fun. The making of Wolverine and the X Men featurette, the Inner Circle reflections on Wolverine and the X Men featurette, and yeah. So audio, you have English 5.1 and Spanish 2.0 and I want to say subtitles are only in English I don't think subtitles are in Spanish I can't quite remember but yeah this um, follows uh, the X-Men as Wolverine is about to leave uh, you know he's gonna go on like his own journey in a way like just kinda you know go off on his own and rogue is talking to him, you know, she's really upset that he's leaving. I think a, a few people are. Uh, but then something happens to where Jean Grey and uh, Professor X, like they just kind of, like this uh, this big explosion happens. And you just follow Wolverine because everybody's pretty much been separated. Uh, you know, the Academy was in shambles after that. And it's just trying to figure out what the heck happened. Uh, you know, what happened to Jean Grey and uh, Professor X? And you just follow the story from there. You get to see other characters, uh, heroes and villains alike. And for what it is, this is really good. The animation style is pretty good too. Has its own uh, distinct look. Voice acting is also really good. Uh, action's great. Uh, you know, you have your big mystery and an overarching stories and other villains. And also, they capture uh, the whole thing about how mutants are like considered outcast in a way. You know, not a lot of people like them, but you know, Professor X and others, you know, are trying to fight for their rights in a way. You know, and because that's a big thing with X Men. You know, trying to fit in and things like that. But yeah, this is actually really good. Music is good as well too. Pretty good show. All right, so let's go ahead and display these. So let's do, let's see, okay. That one right there. Okay. 
and there they are all look good together so that does it for x-men the complete uh, animated series uh from the 90s and the later uh series that came out i want to say that was in the 2000s i think when wolverine and the x-men came out um or maybe late 90s i think i think it was 2000s somewhere somewhere in there uh but uh yeah overall really good shows of course you have the classic from the 90s which was a big thing that it was being uh released now uh yeah as i was saying earlier you know just kind of be careful of of you know be careful of pricing excuse me uh because you know some of them do go for pretty high prices like volume two there uh with the phoenix cover um wolverine and the x-men i think should still be readily available as also some of those volumes are for the 90s show and uh just overall really good you know cartoons in general you know just really fun to watch you know just pop them in have a good time and uh yeah so wolverine and x-men does have a blu-ray release uh the original show uh, from the 90s i don't think has one there is another x-men show that came out that i have found parts for but i don't think it's gotten a full release i don't think it ever did and that was x-men evolution i really want to get all that but i don't think it was ever released completely um i think there might be a complete set that you can import i'm not sure i know i've seen pictures but i don't know if they're you know accurate or not um you know looking up different things but uh yeah x-men uh and this completes pretty much what we have of x-men for right now you know until i pick up more <laughs> so uh with that like the video if you if you do subscribe if you like and have you seen any of these shows you know did you grow up with the 90s uh x-men show feel free let me know in the comments below or have you seen uh wolverine and x-men feel free let me know and i'll see you guys next time